Number one pro tip is definitely to tie your horse to the top rail. That's really smart. Hey, excuse me. You don't want to be famous, Drifter? See, that's super cute. It's so cute. Look at you guys. Hi there, it's DJV. And this is gonna be a fun video today. I'm going to introduce you to these three real horses. Yes, I have real life horses. And I'm gonna just tell you a little bit about them. I'm gonna brush them a little bit. Y'all are so cute when you do that. Like actually. I guess I'm just gonna start off by explaining some things. This is obviously not my property. I no longer live here, but I have lived here intermittently throughout my time on YouTube. This is my parents' house, so we have five acres, and that's where we're able to keep three horses and lots of other animals. These two horses are my primary horses, and this guy is my mom's horse, but we kind of intertwine them and we ride them all um, individually. But I did purchase Drifter, as you guys know. See, you just put treats under the camera and you're good. So this is Marigold, and you guys probably recognize her from the Briar unboxing video I did with my boyfriend. She's actually my first kind of riding horse, so we've actually owned her for 10 years now which is crazy. So she taught me how to ride and gained my confidence. She just turned 20 this year, but I think she'll live quite a long time and she will die on the property with us, so we have no intentions of getting rid of her. She's kind of a funny girl. She's our only mare now in the herd. You can see that she is like the basic chestnut color. Breed, we have no idea. The owners, when they sold her to us, said she was a Tennessee walking horse, quarter horse. I don't believe that. I think she has some kind of draft in her, either Percheron or Belgian. It's really hard to tell. I want to do the genetic testing. She's very quirky in her ways. I find her very herd bound, so she's very attached to her buddy. And that's been a, the biggest fight that we've had with her. When we bought her, she'd never been cantered before, so that was a big fight with her as well. But overall, you tell her no once and she listens. She's super sweet. She's not spooky at all. She's like the horse that we throw everybody on if they're learning to ride. She doesn't like being brushed. That's her one like thing. Um, she wants to stand with you and be with you, but she doesn't want to be brushed or touched. Like she doesn't like hugs. She doesn't like kisses. She doesn't like being fondled in any way, but she'll hang out with you all day if she could. She's 14-3, but she's a little bit sway back. So kind of at her back is 14-3, but I would consider her like probably 15 at the wither. Uh, she almost died on us once actually. She was found at the bottom of the pasture in the winter like laying upside down. She was kind of downhill and in a situation where she couldn't get back up. Luckily we found her in time but we thought we were gonna lose her and that was super scary because she's a super steady ride. Like if you're ever feeling insecure you, you can always ride her and know that you're gonna like live through the ride. <laughs> now like at this point she's not getting ridden as much as the other two guys just because of her age and her capabilities. She's not super capable of doing fancy maneuvers. She's not great at cantering and stuff. Her trot is really nice, really, really smooth. Her canter is pretty rough and her walk is super slow. She's like snail speed. She lives to 30. There's a potential that like my kids could ride her one day, which is really cool. She's very excited to be on camera. I'll give her a crunchy because she is a good girl. We're standing here so nicely. Some horse ASMR. Oh yes, very nice. I'll let you guys look at her body conformation. You guys can leave guesses as to what breed you think she is because I have no clue and I study horse breeds all the time. What do you think? I have no idea. I can't figure it out. He's like, quarter horse wiener dog? Yeah, that's my biggest guess. Leave your comments down below if you can figure out what breed she is because I don't know. He's being a really good boy about this. because They're like tied to the fence. They're like, why are we tied to the fence? What is the point of our day today? So this is Yoda. So Yoda is not my primary riding horse, he is my mom's, but I do ride him a fair bit as well because we like to swap back and forth. So we bought him four years ago, so we've had him for four years, and he is a nine-year-old Canadian 
Arab quarter horse cross. So he's 50% Canadian. His dad was a full Canadian and his mom was a quarter horse Arab. Somehow they ended up having a beautiful buckskin baby. He's 15 too, so he's a little bit taller and he's very nibbly, like he's very affectionate. This is what he would do to you all day if you could. He, he like, he, you can grab his nostrils and he doesn't care, like he thinks it's fun, he thinks it's a game. So he's the most friendly horse that I've ever like come to know, like because Marigold is so don't touch me. This guy is all about like let me accost you, <laughs> breathe down your neck. So he's a sweetheart on the ground. He can be a little bit challenging riding wise, but we're working through things. We've been riding him really hard all summer. He's a big mover. His trot is huge and his canter is super flowy, like you feel like you're going up and down really intensely. He is herd boss for sure. He is like kind of stallion-like sometimes. <laughs> He's like my dream horse. If I could choose like any color or like look of horse, you know, he is like my dream guy. But my mom bought him when I was in university, so I was like really upset because I was like, he's my dream horse and I don't even live there to get to use him. But like now, of course, I am using him quite a lot. So this this guy was my mom's replacement for her old mare, her old quarter horse mare. And we had never had a gelding before. We were tired of the hormones that mares give, so we wanted a gelding. But the geldings have a very different perception of things, and this guy is very much like, he will question everything you ask him. He doesn't really want to work. I don't think he's really lazy though. He's kind of actually more on the hot side of things, but he will like question what we're doing so he will say like no and he'll put his own spin on whatever you're asking of him. Drifter! You're supposed to be the good horse and you're being the worst. He's, he's still a sweetheart so he's gonna stick around with us for sure for a while. We're working out his kinks and like he's so lovable in this sense that it's hard to like consider getting rid of him even though he's a bit of a munch when you're on his back. Both my mom and I are getting into like the reining training side of things. So we've been taking lessons with an actual reining trainer, which is really cool. Yeah, this is Yoda. That is the most hair I've ever seen on a horse. Actually, when we got him, it was double-sided and now he's like rubbed it up. He reminds me of Spirit. And that's like every little girl's dream, is it not? So this is Drifter, and you guys probably recognize him because I did make a video saying I bought a horse, and that was this guy, that was Drifter. So I've only had him now for three months, and he's an eight-year-old registered quarter horse, gelding. He is 14'3", which is like the perfect size for me. He's not too big, he's not too tall, and he's cute as a button. Yes, you are. His registered name is Little Oki Drifter. And so originally he was a cutting bred horse. He came from those lines and he was trained to be a cutter, but he was too slow for the cows. So when I like knew I was looking for a new horse, because Marigold can't do the work as much, and I'm still in like my riding prime. So I really wanted to get heavy into riding, and that was when I decided I wanted to actually buy my own horse. When we heard about this guy, it was through a trainer, a local trainer, who is actually a reigning trainer. And she sold him to an old lady who rode him just on the trails for a couple years. But then she recently broke her leg and her husband got kind of sick, so she realized like it's probably time to pass him on. So we heard about him like kind of through word of mouth and when as soon as I went to see him, I was like yeah, this is the horse that I want, 100%. He's a super chill guy. He's really easy to get along with. I don't find him super dominant. I don't find him rude. He's one of those horses that like you'll ask for things and he'll be like, okay. And then you'll ask for more and he'll be like, sure, like let's keep going. It's totally fine. So he's no complain, no attitude, no sass, and it's really, really nice. <laughs> but he's also fancy trained. So like he knows how to collect himself. He knows how to, you know, bend really well and we've been working with the trainer on like teaching me the cues to get him to perform well because I didn't really know how to ride that well prior to him so he's teaching me basically how to ride. He just got new shoes today so that's really exciting. He's the only horse we have that actually needs shoes. The other two are barefoot. He is this lovely liver chestnut color. It was kind of funny because when I was looking I was really excited to get 
like a fancy color because I love horses and painting horses, obviously. So I was really excited to have an Appaloosa or a buckskin or like black or some like crazy color. And I had like this thing that like I don't want another brown horse. Like brown is so boring. My mom was actually the one to hear about him. When she phoned me and was like, we need to look at this horse like right now, she was explaining him and he sounded amazing, he sounded perfect, and then I'm like, but what color is he? And she's like, well, he's brown. <laughs> but he's liver chestnut, so he's really, really striking, but he's really, really dirty all the time, so I tried to brush him, but it just doesn't come out. I don't know how to help it. He's just filthy all the time. But I'm growing to love liver chestnut, and it's a color that's not very common or sought out, and it's really actually quite pretty. So I'm having a lot of fun with him, and like I said, I've only had him for a couple months now, but I believe that he'll be sticking around for a while because he's a really cool guy. And because he's only eight, we can grow together, and I will have him for a long time, which is really cool. But my only like stipulation in buying a horse, too, was that they have bangs, and he has lots of bangs, so <laughs> he's good. I'm really curious to see what he looks like in the winter. I think he's going to look like a fuzzy little pony, and it's going to be really cute. Yeah, that's Drifter. I named him that because it's off of his registry. He didn't come with that name. His original name was Johnny, which was like, not great. He's very quarter horse, and I originally didn't want a quarter horse. His mind is just so easy to work with that it's kind of changing my mind about quarter horses. He's just, he's so different. Like Yoda is kind of challenging. This guy is not, like he will never really challenge. He's lazy, so he doesn't always like to go. He's never rude, I don't know. It's very different from all the other horses that I've lived with. I think that just comes from his training. See how dirty he is? He doesn't come clean. He's looked like this for like a week and I can't get it out. It just brushes and brushes and brushes and never gets out. Yoda is like boss. He's super like mean to everybody. Marigold will not fight anyone. She's like the most passive horse I've ever met. And Drifter is kind of in the middle, like he, he'll boss her around, but he'll also be her friend. What personality would they have if they were a person? So Yoda would be like the Italian exchange student that's really hot, but you're not totally sure if he's gay or straight. <laughs> Marigold is like the girl next door, like that's how I would describe her. She's like really nice, she's not necessarily like super attractive, but she has a good personality, so like you might date her. And Drifter, the guy that's like really nice and you're like... He's kind of cute, and he's got nice hair, so like, I guess I could date him. He's kind of athletic. He's kind of like that all-round, like, good guy that definitely went to prep school in his younger years. So he's a little bit, like, fancier than you. That's my three horses. Thank you all for watching. I hope to include real horses in my channel more because real horses are like a big part of my life. They're being so cute. They're just like, it's so hard to photograph all three of them nicely. Well now you like mess up the photo. Excuse me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my horses just as much as I do. Seriously though, you're so sweet with your little faces.